What do you get when you combine one of America's most iconic performance cars with one of Australia's most iconic performance tuning companies? You get these, Tickford Mustangs. Tickford was once Ford's official tuning partner. Now the company is back as an independent operator, producing a range of upgrade packages for the Mustang and Ranger Ute. We've been given access to both the V8 powered GT and the four cylinder turbocharged EcoBoost fettled by Tickford. Instead of offering a complete car, the company instead has a variety of packages to suit buyers' tastes and budgets. Tickford is offering three upgrade packages for the Mustang at the moment. A power pack, a suspension package, and a wheel and tyre combination. The cars we're testing today have got all three packs added, so this is everything Tickford currently has to offer. The power pack is probably the headline attraction. It's the one bringing the big numbers. In the case of the EcoBoost, that means 270 kilowatts of power and 520 newton meters of torque, a 37 kilowatt and 88 newton meter bump. To achieve that, Tickford has recalibrated the ECU, added a cold air intake and a new exhaust system. It's that last one, the new exhaust, that's really the kicker because it's given the EcoBoost a different soundtrack, probably more suited to a pony car. But still, it's no match for the big V8. And the cool thing about that new note is it's actually a genuine sound. It's all through tuning the exhaust to actually make the better note. There's nothing artificial about it. Of course, the better soundtrack, though, is really only an added bonus on top of the extra power. That extra torque especially makes the EcoBoost feel a lot punchier out of the corners. But because it's you know, still got that four-cylinder engine, it still feels lighter, nimbler, more agile than the big V8. So even if it's not the one you know, your heart and your ears want to go for. It's actually a lot of fun to drive this car, but for some, it's all about the V8. But if you're still one of those people that's unconvinced by a four-cylinder Mustang, well, don't worry, Tickford has played with the GT V8 as well. It gets the same modifications to the powertrain, same wheels and tyres and the same suspension. Power has been turned up to 360 kilowatts and torque ramped up to 585 newton meters. That's an extra 54 kilowatts and 55 newton meters over the standard spec Mustang. That extra grunt is certainly appreciated in the GT. It certainly feels like it's got more get up and go than the standard Mustang, which is something where we've been a little bit critical of the pony car in the past you know it's five litre v8 just didn't really have the the bite to match its bark but now tickford they've really extracted a bit more from it and made it sound and go just like you expect a mustang to but these tickford mustangs are about more than just what's under the bonnet the optional wheel and tire package and the upgraded suspension are really the stars of the show Tickford have had years of experience tailoring Falcons to Aussie roads and that's one area where Ford globally didn't really put much effort in Ford Australia. They didn't tune the car to local conditions so by adding a suspension package that's designed primarily for the road and not the track, they've made the Mustang feel much more at home in the conditions we face out here and it makes it a much more enjoyable car to drive. Tickford's decision to offer them in packages means you can spend according to your budget. The engine upgrades cost $6,990, the suspension will set you back $3,990, and the wheel and tyre package another $4,490. When the new leather interior package becomes available, it will cost $4,490 as well. But while that may sound affordable in those manageable amounts, if you tick every box for the full Tickford experience, you'll be spending nearly $20,000 and that's on top of the money you're paying for the car. Those willing to pay for all of Tickford's tricks, however, are rewarded with a better version of the Mustang. It's still the quintessential American pony car, 
but improved thanks to a dose of Australian expertise.